Oops, the camera got cut off. If you're flying, you should know what you're doing and not be stupid with stuff. Anyway, so I am uh, getting rid of this and I'm going to go with the standard. I decided just to buy the standard because it's going to fulfill my needs for a drone. The price is still right at $4.99. Um, Amazon actually for $5.99 you get the drone, obviously everything that comes with it, and an extra DJI battery, which is $50 off the retail price of one of these. And I'm really excited to try this. I'm actually going to buy two other spares, which are the Power Power Extra or Power Express. I don't know. They're on Amazon. $195 for two of them. There's only two reviews, but both of them have said good things about it, and I feel like it's worth a try. Um, they said they charge the same. The LEDs, they said, look slightly different. They said everything else is the same. The flight time, everything is the same. It's worth a shot for me. Um, and it's worth a shot to have four batteries. And again, for me, just having fun, taking photos, whatever. It's it's fun for that. Where I'm going to go next with this, oh yeah. So a buddy of mine has a racing drone, an FPV racing drone. Basically, it's a 250. He's put some extensions on it and made it basically into a 300. And this thing is wicked ridiculous. This thing will go up a couple hundred feet in literally seconds. It's incredible. So I decided to get rid of this, part with it, go with the standard because it'll still fulfill my needs and still be fun to fly and record and so on. And it will still fit in here. Awesome. But I decided, um, and I've already ordered some of the parts, I'm going to be building basically a first person view 250 quadcopter except it's not going to have the first person view because this guy right here will be my first person view for my purposes. The other one though is gonna be badass. I'm pretty excited. I'm getting a all from Get FPV. Um, it's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna give you all my details because I can't let you in on all the secrets, but I am getting a, um, it's the new plus size 250 so I can put a six inch prop and I'm also going to do a 5-inch a bullnose prop with a 2208-2000kV um, motor. Pretty excited about that. It should be wicked. Um, my buddy, who I'm telling you about, has the same motor, 2208-2000kV, um, and he's he runs a very a various props, anything from 6 to 8 inches, and his is wicked. He runs it on a 4-cell LiPo, and that thing screams. It's incredible. And we're thinking that mine... With the same motors, I'm doing a little higher ESC because he has 18 amp ESCs. I'm going to 20 amp, but it should be fine. Um, and I'm going to do a 5 inch bullnose prop at 4.5 um, pitch. And those suckers should spin really fast and have some pretty wicked lift. So um, that's where I'm going with all this. Um, I hope you enjoy these. I hope they help a little bit. DJI is great so far. I mean, I've had really no problems. Yes, the standard is limited in range and stuff, but I will tell you that I took this to a park um, and I took it, I don't know, 1600 meters or something. I don't know. I took it far enough away where I couldn't even see it. And obviously, you really should fly these in um, you know, your range of view. You should fly them where you can see them. Because if it's out of your view, I don't care, DJI, if you can go six miles or 10 miles, who cares? If you can't see it, I just don't trust um, flying this thing anywhere that I can't see. So for me, that's fine. I don't do professional photography or video. Um, I like to do little stupid videos like this on YouTube and take tons of photos when I go hiking and backpacking. This will just be a fun addition to that. Um, I understand the Wi-Fi and all that, but I think the standard's going to be absolutely fine for my needs. The advance has been cool, but um, I don't know. And DJI, come on, up to 25 minutes on the standard? Let's hope so. Let's hope I can at least get 20 minutes. I mean, at least that would be okay, but you know, don't promote something that you're not gonna, that's not even, you know, doable um, in, as a consumer. Anyway, that's my little complaint. Anyway, hope you enjoy this. Look forward to the uh, other videos. Oh, and a really quick side note, I made this little thing out of cardboard. Um, this is for, <laughs> well, it was for this. I made just a little sunscreen for my iPhone, uh, but all that's gonna change now, of course. And uh, you know, the, this remote's badass. The other remote, eh, it's okay. It's very basic, but I'm also okay at that. I don't use all of these functions. I use the tilt for the gimbal. Aside from that, I mean, you use the app anyway. So 
I hope this helps. Enjoy uh, this case. It will still be around, and I'm still stoked that I made it, and it came out pretty well. Look forward to other videos. <gasps> Excuse me, and um, this video of my um, drone racer. Uh, it should be pretty sick, so take care.